Now in this question then, we're given that y equals 12 times the square root of x minus x to the power 3 over 2 minus 10, where x is greater than 0, and asked to find the turning point by using calculus. Calculus is using differentiation, basically, and just to remind you, when you're finding a turning point on a, any graph, if you've got a, a, a graph, let's just show you the axes, x and y, then essentially if you've got a graph looking like this, I'm not claiming that this is this graph, but essentially these are turning points up here and down here. And at these points the gradient is always zero and we know then that we get gradient by finding dy by dx. So essentially that's what we're going to do here. We're going to differentiate this and then we're going to equate dy dx to zero and hopefully solve the resulting equation for x and y. So we need to differentiate this then and we need to get this in the right form. We need x as a, expressed as a power. So what I'm going to do is change the square root of x to x to the power half. If it was the cube root of x, it would be x to the power third, fourth root, x to the power quarter, and so on. This term's fine, so we'll just leave that as x to the power 3 over 2, and then we've got the minus 10 on the end. Now we need to differentiate this, find dy by dx, differentiate it with respect to x. And for terms like this, what we need to do is just multiply the uh, power by the number at the front and subtract 1 from the power. So we do 12 times a half, which is 6, subtract 1 from the power, and we get x to the power minus a half. Do the same for this term. We've got a 1 here, so we do 1 times the 3 over 2, so that's going to be minus 3 over 2. Subtract 1 from the power, and you get x to the power half. When it comes to differentiating a constant, remember that goes to 0. Now, when you've got negative powers, you need to change this back to a positive power. Or well, it's a good idea anyway to do that. Now, you should also know then when it comes to powers, let's just jot this down over here, that if you have x to a negative power, minus n say, this is equal or identical to 1 over x to the positive power, n. So if we've got x to the minus a half, n is minus a half, this becomes 6 times 1 over x to the power half, which is 6 over x to the power half. This term's fine, so we'll just put that in as minus 3 over 2 x to the power half. Now, at turning points, as we have up here, the gradient dy dx equals 0. So let's just say that, that at turning points, dy dx equals 0. Okay, it's got to be worth a mark there if you can just put that concept in. So I would definitely suggest you do that. So, therefore, we take this, 6 over x to the power half minus 3 over 2 x to the power half equals 0. Now we've got a fractional equation, and what I would suggest you do is get rid of the x to the half and the 2 by multiplying throughout both sides by 2 times x to the half. If you do that, then this term becomes simply 12. And this term, if you multiply by 2x to the half, the 2 will cancel out. And you'll have 3 times x to the half times another x to the half, which is minus 3x. And then 0 times anything is going to be simply 0. Rearrange this by adding 3x to both sides, and you end up with 12 equals 3x. Divide both sides now by 3, and you have x equals 4. We need the y-coordinate of the turning point, so all we need to do is substitute x equals 4 into the equation for y. And we'll go up to the top here, and we can say that basically that when x equals 4, y 
will equal 12 times the square root of 4 minus 4 to the power 3 over 2 minus 10. Now for this you shouldn't really need a calculator you should know what the square root of 4 is which is 2 obviously and 12 twos are 24. Now when it comes to this without a calculator the 2 here means you square root the 4 which is 2 and then the 3 here means you cube it so you've got 2 cubed which is 8 so we have minus 8 and then minus 10. Anyway if you do this what you end up with is 6 and so therefore in answer to the question it did say what is the turning point rather than turning point so we would expect just one answer which is what we've got therefore the turning point is going to be 4 6 okay the x coordinate of 4 the y coordinate then of 6 okay well that brings us to the end of this part of the question